Um, right, guys, I think, well, that should be us all in. So if we go ahead and um, go on mute, I will just read over the workout today if you want to jot it down, um, and then we'll go over our, uh, sorry, over all the movements. Um, so our Metcon for the day, our sort of big portion, is every eight minutes, so quite a, a substantial amount of time, but hopefully a good rest period in that um, time as well. Okay, so every eight minutes, we are going to look at doing 40 squat cleans. We'll have a look at different movements depending on what kit you've got um but 40 squat cleans and 20 burpees okay so 40 and 20 um in that time we should hopefully be getting i would say three to four minutes rest okay depending on the actual movement you're going to use whether it's barbell dumbbell and um, we may adjust the reps for people who are doing single arm stuff so for me i've got um, a dumbbell so i'm going to be doing single arm squat cleans um, as opposed to our barbell squat clean so we'll have a, a little chat about that closer to the time okay uh, but working pretty hard for the 40 reps and the 20 reps and then a hopefully a substantial amount of rest the warm-up that we're going to do just now is going to be um 40 seconds on 20 seconds off and we're going to do three rounds i'm going to start off on air squats we're then going to go for inchworm push-ups and then we're going to look at bicep curls okay so no set amount of reps just keep it on moving for the 40 seconds first movement is our air squats take them nice and slow let's get good quality squats so down bow parallel and then up feel free to stay down there and warm up the calves and the hips a little bit more we're then going to go on to our inchworm push-ups so nice straight legs walk out do our push-up and then walk back in get a hamstring stretch and then we are going to go for bicep curls okay so for me, I've got a dumbbell. It's way too heavy for me to do with one hand. So I'm going to hold on to both hexes, curl up, and then come down. Okay, watching my back through that movement so I'm not arching nice and controlled. So I shouldn't be swinging the hips back with that. Okay. And um, now, if you've got something that's way lighter and you want to do single arm on the curls, that's fine. And um, if you've got something that's way too heavy, and even going with two is way too much, okay, then we're just going to go for a, a bent over row um, movement as well. But go for the bicep curl as much as you can, okay? So I'll let you grab your kit. If everybody's ready, I'll get the clock on. We're going to do 40 on, 20 off for three rounds on that. Everybody looks good. Two seconds. Sorry, Emma. Can you just tell me, sorry, the numbers again? What did you say? So it's, it's not actually numbers on this one, so oh. it's just movement for movement for 40 seconds oh okay cool. so yeah we're going to do 40 on 20 off so just your own pace through the 40 yeah. seconds okay right oh let's do this okay starting off on our air squats 10 seconds Oop. three two one let's go on air squats guys 40 seconds Halfway there. Okay, make sure we're staying on those heels, keeping the chest up, getting nice and low on them squats. Ten seconds. Rest there. So then we're going to go on to inchworm push ups when that beeps again. Okay, straight leg, walk out to your push up. Halfway there. Ten seconds. Okay, rest. Okay, 
Okay, get ready for bicep curls. Let's go. Right, let's do it. Halfway there. Ten seconds. Rest. Okay, rest there, guys. So back to the air squats now. Let's do it. Try and increase the pace each round, just get that heart rate up as well. So nice and fast on these squats if you feel warm enough. Halfway there. Ten seconds. Rest. Rest. Okay, let me go with any more push ups. Halfway there. Ten seconds. Rest. Rest. Okay, bicep curls. Let's go. Nice and controlled. Halfway there. Ten seconds. Rest up. Okay, one more round. Three. Okay, let's go air squats, nice and fast, keeping that chest up. Halfway there. Ten seconds. Rest. 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 
Okay, That's into true. our push ups. Halfway there. Ten seconds. Rest. Okay, guys, last bicep curls, rest up. Halfway there. Ten seconds. Okay. Rest. Done. Awesome. Okay. So get your breath back. Get a drink if you need to. And then what we'll do is we'll just go through the movements and what we're gonna do for the Metcon before we get cracking on. Da, 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 da. Awesome, right, okay. So depending on what you've got kit-wise, um, we are, say we had a barbell for this workout, okay? It would be 40 squat cleans with the barbell. Don't know if any of you are doing that. If so, it's one big movement from the floor each time. You're gonna hit that triple extension with the hips like we always do, shrug the shoulders back, drop and catch underneath in that front rack position, okay? So it'd be 40 of those, okay, at a fairly light weight that you can keep on cycling, okay? So we're not certainly gonna be doing them in ones or twos, okay? Probably something you could possibly do between five and 10 at, 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 the, at the same pace, maybe shake off and then get straight back in, okay? For most of us, um, we're going to be with a dumbbell, kettlebell, whatever that is, so it's single arm, okay? Now, 40 on each side is going to be way, way, way too much, okay? So if you're doing it single arm, you're going to up it to 50, so you're adding on 10 reps, okay? I'll show you that movement in a wee second with my dumbbell or kettlebell that you've got, okay? So it's going to be, instead of the 40 squat cleans, it's going to be 50, okay? Um, and you can alternate the arms on them as much or as little as you like. You can do all 25 on one side and all 25 on the other, or you can split it up more manageably into sets of fives, tens, whatever that is, okay? Um, so it's either 40 or 50 on that. We've then got 20 burpees, okay, which I'm sure you're all loving and familiar with, okay? We're getting really good at them. <laughs> um, so the idea here is that we don't really want to be working for any more than four minutes. So we've got the same amount of rest and recovery time. Okay, so a one-to-one -one ratio, that's the aim, okay? A little bit under, a little bit over, it's not the end of the world, but we want to hit it with quite high intensity because you're going to get that big chunk of rest at the end, okay? So try and push the pace, especially once you're off your barbell or dumbbell movement, push your pace on the burpees and try and get through them, get as much rest as you can, okay? Movement-wise, so our squat cleans, like we said, with the barbell, nice flat back, two hands on the bar, we're hitting that full extension, dropping under and standing up. Everything stays the exact same with the dumbbell, apart from you're probably going to have a little bit of a twist, okay, coming down, so one shoulder is going to dip down a little bit lower than the other, so super important to brace the core, but we're still wanting to drive through the legs, get that triple extension, drop underneath with the elbow through, and catch, okay? So from the floor, up, underneath, and stand. Okay. So can we just go ahead and show me three, four reps on each arm just now, guys, get warmed up. Let's have a look. Try, if we're going for the dumbbells, try and keep it nice and close as you would with the bar. Good, Pauline. Awesome. 
Emma, how far do you bring the bar back down every time? So you're you're doing empty bar, yes? Yeah. So it's a tough one. Um, to be honest with you, it's hard going down to the point that the plates would touch the floor um, oh. or the dumbbell would touch the floor. So if I were you, I'd maybe just take it from the hang position, just down to your knees yeah. every single time, just so you know you're getting the same the same bit. It's not it's not going to add on loads of time or take away loads of time. Just give yourself that reference point point of the kneecaps and that would be fine. Good. So okay. Emma, I'm doing 25 each arm. Yes, yes. So Annette and Polly, and you look like the barbell folks, which is cool. So you're going to do 40 squat cleans, just as prescribed as, as it's written down. Everybody else, Scott, I assume you're doing dumbbell as well, aren't you? Yep. So everyone else, we've got dumbbells. We're going to do 50, okay? And it's alternate arms, changing as much or as little as you, as you like, okay? Now, I know how much you love them. Um, so let's go ahead and do a few burpees to warm up with, okay? Three or four, just get the arms arms and movement ready okay chest and hips to the floor making sure that we're hitting that again hips through full extension at the top okay i'm gonna put something down so my neighbor doesn't kill me or she gets a dumbbell through the roof or something awesome looks good guys so Eight minutes on the clock. We're going to do this three times, okay? Eight minutes on the clock. We've got between 40 and 50 of our squat cleans, 20 burpees. Try and push that pace in the burpees. Rest period should hopefully be around about the four minute or, or over mark, okay? Let me just get this set up to beep at us. If you're going much longer than that, Emma, I think I'll be slow on the squat cleans. Uh huh? If it goes much longer, should we just stop for it with a yeah, couple so minutes? Yeah, so what I'll do is I'll give you a shout. I'll set the clock up. I'll give you a shout when it hits around about the four minute mark, okay? If you're okay, working for a little bit longer than that, it's not the end of the world. It's still it's still a fairly, in comparison to our normal rest periods, which isn't like 20 to 30 seconds. Yeah, you're right. Okay. It, yeah, it's it's still a lot. But yeah, I'd, I'd get, you'd, want, you'd want a good few minutes to get, get that intensity back and then going yeah. for it. So I'll give you a shout when it gets maybe four, four and a half minutes. And if it's way off, we'll maybe think about scaling the reps back. Cool. Right, let me get this thingamabobber set up to be pass. Oh. Eventually she gets it. Okay. Right team, let's get ready then. 10 seconds and we're gonna go, starting off on our squat cleans. Three. Let's do it.
way there. Keep going, guys. Do a fifteen more seconds, one. Okay, rest there. If you've not finished. Three minutes rest. Think about those reps. If you got them in, great. If not, give them maybe a couple short or a little bit short on the burpees. Maybe knock a few off the squat cleans. Take five away from the squat cleans, try and get those burpees in. Ooh. Awesome. Right, two minutes rest left. Big deep breath, try and get that heart rate back down. Quite a nasty one, coming off those squat cleans at the burpees. Legs. Okay, guys, still another minute of rest. Right guys, 30 seconds and we go again, okay? So it is a fair amount of rest, probably just enough to get the heart rate back down. So bear that in mind, okay? Try and keep pushing, try and keep working when you are. Get to that rest period, keep that in mind. 15 seconds and we go again on squat cleans. 10 seconds. Okay, nice strong back. Let's use these legs. Three. Let's do it. Go on.
halfway there. Oh. Go on guys, 20 more seconds. Go on, fight to get these reps in 10. Let's go all out, get to that rest. Three, okay, rest there guys, good, awesome. Killing it, okay, good rest. We got one more round. Ninety seconds left. Okay, we've got 30 seconds, team. Last round, okay, it's the same intensity. Let's try and get all these reps in. <coughs> Ten. Ten seconds. Three. Let's do it. Last round.
halfway there. Come on guys, let's get it done. Dig deep. <clears throat> Come on, you got three minutes left on this clock. Let's go. Try and get them all in. Nice work, go on. Nice guys, come on, come on Scott. Come on, Nick and Sarah. Two minutes left. Time to get this in. Right, a little over 90 seconds left. Looks like we're all sort of done, but let's just take this, <laughs> let the clock run out and get our breath back. Well done, guys. Oh. How intense was that, hey? That was one of those nasty ones, eh? Oh my God, yeah, tunnel of pain. Yeah. The, the going on to the burpees, your legs, my legs were so heavy. Yeah. To like jump back in, it's usually your shoulders on burpees. I was like, oh. Yeah, it's like there's nothing there. There's no yeah. spring. Legs are gone. Oh my legs God. Legs are gone. That was harder than I thought. Well, they always are, but. Yeah, me too. That one caught me a good one. After yesterday's squat snatches, that was a horror. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, dear. <sighs> Good job, guys. Right. Ooh, back for another little bit. And then we got a little bit of core to finish off with, okay? So we're going to follow the 40 on 20 off again, like we've done for the warm-up. And it's going to be three sides as well. Eh, sorry, three sides. Three rounds. Don't even know what I'm talking about. So we've got plank side steps, we've then got flutter kicks, and then we've got hollow rocks, okay? So our plank side steps, I'll try and get this in as much as I can, are gonna be two steps to the left, two steps to the right, if you've got room for that, um, in a tall plank position, okay? If you've not got room, then just shuffle once, shuffle other time, okay? Make sure you got have to move the dumbbell and stuff. But we're going foot to hand, foot to hand, and we're just shuffling backwards and forwards, for the 40 seconds, okay? Trying as much as you can to keep those hips in line with the shoulders, okay? It's dead easy when you're moving to push your bum up in the air. So clear a bit of space, move your stuff out of the way. I'll get going on them. After that, we've got flutter kicks, which is gonna be in a hollow position with the hands down um, by the sides, okay? Or on your core somewhere. If it's really hurting your lower back, so we're thinking about squeezing the lower back into the floor. If you kind of find yourself opening up and, and flaring up that lower back, then what you can do is sit on your hands, just on your bum, 
and then do your floor kicks, okay? If not, then we're in this hall position, doing the floor kicks from there. And then a bit of a cut killer, going from straight from that into our actual hall rocks, okay? So pretty much the same muscle, exact same muscle group, going backwards and forwards, okay? So 40 and 20 off, quite a lot, but we'll get through it. Can I just hold a plank? Because they hurt my shoulders on the first one. Yeah, sure, of course. Yeah, no, no problem. If it's easier, obviously, going on your elbows, going on your elbows, whatever works for you. Yeah. Whew. Where's my clock? Okay, right. Oh, let's get this started then. So we've got our side steps from the plank position to start off with. Okay. 10 seconds, guys, and we'll get going. Three. Okay, off we go. Let's do it. A couple steps if you've got it to the left and right. Try and keep on moving. Halfway there. Ten seconds. Rest. Okay, rest up. Oh. Okay, we've got our flutter kicks. Five, three, let's do it. Let's go. Keep those legs moving. Halfway there. Ten seconds. Rest. Oh, rest. Oh, this next one's going to be nasty. Okay, guys, try and move as much as you can. Not stuff on our hollow rocks. Three. Okay, let's do it. Halfway there. Ten seconds. Rest. Oh. Okay. Tough one. Okay, three. Let's do it. Let's go. Push up seconds. Rest. Oh. Right guys, flutter kicks. Three. 
Let's go. Let's do it. Halfway there. Ten seconds. If you have to, let's get back in. Halfway there. Oh. Ten seconds. Okay, last round. Three. Let's go. Way there. Ten seconds. Okay, floor kicks, last ones. Three. Let's do it. Halfway there. Ten seconds. Rest. Right, last forty seconds. Smaller rocks. <sighs> Halfway there. Ten seconds. Jeez. Oh. oh, nice work, guys. It was a tough one. Well done.